Hey everybody, I got a question today on my how to add a normal distribution curve to a histogram video. And the person wants to know, suppose I have a histogram like this, and for whatever reason, I want to have a blank space here between the y-axis and the first bar. How can I do that? There's probably a few different ways that you can do this, but let me show you the way that I would accomplish this if I needed to. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to add a blank row in this table here, and then we're going to add that blank row to our graph. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm just going to right click here on the row number two and click insert. So now we have a blank row. And since what we want is just a blank right here uh, and kind of shift these bars over to the right, I'm going to leave the label here blank and I'll put a frequency of zero there. I don't even know if that's really necessary, but I'll, I'll do it just to make sure. So now we right click here and we go to select data. And here what we want is on the X axis, instead of starting at 10 to 14, we want another kind of blank row there. So let's click edit. Let's click this up arrow right here. And now we're going to highlight, instead of A3 to A10, we're going to highlight A2 to A10. And let's hit OK. And now see how we have this bar here, but that's not what we want. We need to change the Y value there. We have a blank on the X axis, but we need to change the Y value. So now we go to Edit. And here for Series Values, Click that little up arrow, and we want to go from B2 to B10, including that first zero. OK, OK, and now we have a blank space here where technically what it's doing is it's graphing a bar with zero height and a blank label for the x-axis here, OK? So I hope that answered your question. If not, please let me know. And this is Dr. Berkey signing out. Good luck with all your Excel adventures.